The Volunteer Park hosted the under-16 match between Hoyt Youth and Kelso High School and with near-perfect conditions, we would see nine tries and a close game. Within minutes, it looked as if Hoyk hooker Jack Brown had scored a try, but the referee ruled it out. But Hoyt didn't have long to wait to open their account when enterprising play from Fraser Casson, taking a quick tap penalty, caught Kelso on the hop and he got over the line for a try. Aaron Common demonstrated his pace when he picked up the ball and went route one, and when he was stopped he recycled to fullback Riley Muir. He had a chance to penetrate the opposition defence. His excellent pass out the back door gave centre Boyd Hughes an opportunity to stretch his legs, but a tap tackle brought him down just before the line. His colleagues were up in support though and kept the attack going and there was Fraser Casson in the right place at the right time to dart over and pick up an early brace. With fly half Stuart Delaney kicking the two points to make it 12-0. Plenty of character though from Kelso and twice they came close to scoring in the left corner but a forward pass ruled out the first effort and an unfortunate error meant the score stayed the same. But the referee was playing the advantage and it was third time lucky for Kelso with Murray Jackson receiving the scoring pass and his team were deservedly on the board. That gave the visitors plenty of confidence and when they won a good line out in the Hoyt 22, Ben Burton made the most of the opportunity and he slipped past two defenders to get to within two points of Hoyt's total at the break. Just after half-time, Jackson's clearance from his own line went straight to Jardine Vevers and he created space for Boyd Hughes to touch down for Hoyt's third try. And it wasn't long before they worked their way back into the Kelso 22, where they looked like they'd score a fourth try. Captain Kubicki went on a meandering run towards the right, then back across the field to the left, where he was just held up short of the line. But the courageous James Ross finished the move off from a metre out, and Hoyk were back in front and in control at 22 points to 10. But it's very difficult to shake off Kelso and Murray Jackson's move here gave Hoyt plenty to worry about, bouncing off tackles and then releasing an outrageous pass, but the Hoyt cover defence was there to snuff out the danger. John Duncan grabbed a score for Kelso from a tap penalty with the conversion also going over, but the Hoyt response was instant. Kubicki burst through the Kelso defence only to be half tackled, but he got the ball away to Hughes. He fed Muir, who made ground out on the left hand side. He got the ball out to winger Robbie Jack, who still had a lot of work to do, but he wriggled his way over the line, and the home team were 27 17 in the lead, with time running out on the clock. There was still time though for Kelso to get back into the game and they have a big pack who can cause real damage. This move ended with the ball held up but Kelso did manage a fourth try through Fraser Murray but it was too late for the win and it was Hoyk who took the honours. Final score Hoyk Youth under 16s 27, Kelso High School under 16s 22.